Starry Messenger. Yes, yes, yes. Cosmic Let's get our perspectives books. on civilization. Neil, you call this a wake up to civilization. Wake up call. Oh, wake up yeah. call to civilization. Oh, yeah. Um, embracing oh, yeah. a cosmic perspective. What does that mean? Uh, it means there's so much of what we do on Earth that we get so embedded in our own uh, personal belief systems, mm -hmm. even when they 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 don't match what is objectively true, hmm. but we fight over these things. Right. But if you take a step back, add a little bit of a dose of science okay. and science thinking, and especially a cosmic perspective, often many of those problems just evaporate. Hmm. We're sitting there arguing, but there's another perch we could occupy, look back and say, no, we weren't really arguing about anything. Hmm. Yeah. And so the book, I, I collect a, a life uh, of observations ever since I was scientifically literate, early middle school, right. watching adults say things, do things, it's like, what did you just say? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you talk about yourself as a nerdy kid. Honestly, this has been you from the time you were a little boy, but I like what you said. If an alien landed on in our country and said, take me to your leader, should they go to the White House or should they go to the National Academy of Science? And you seem to think, not, it's not a bad idea to go to the National Academy of Science because scientists, you say, are uniquely qualified to do what? To, to, we, uh, because we think about problems, we strive to think about problems without bias, without preconceived notions. Without, we don't always accomplish that, but that is the goal. And so, look at the data. Yeah, if an alien comes, and take me to your leader. Are you are you really going to take them to the White House? Take them to somebody who's <laughs> thought about this problem, okay? <laughs> who, yeah. who also knows that mathematics is a language of the universe. Yes. Right. All right. Yeah. They're not going to come here and speak Mandarin or English or right. French. No, they're going to have some other thing. I'm going to look for the periodic table of elements on their wall, course, for example. Of That's something that applies across the universe. Digits of pi, yeah. you know, things that will empower you to communicate with them. So in the book, with all of the social issues I address, yeah. I throw in an alien every now and then just to see what they would say. He also said it would be, it's not good for a scientist in Vegas. It's not good. It's not good for Vegas when scientists go there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, this is actually my favorite part of the book, but you actually gamble from time to time. Yes. Oh, yeah, well, I'll get to that in just one quick second. So the American <laughs> Physical Society, which is the, the, the society of physicists yeah. in the country. Those are your homies. The, the, my, my people, my people. <laughs> and so, so they were going to have a, co a conference in, in San Diego. California. Hotels didn't work out. Vegas said, come here. We got rooms. They all went. After a week, the headline was, physicist in town, lowest casino take ever. Oh, okay. we they, were, they, they were saying they will never invite it back because yes. we understand the frailties of the human mind <laughs> and why we have no capacity to think statistically and probabilistically about this world. Mm. You, and and uh, the saddest sentence I wrote in that book was, because we can't think rationally about statistics, there are whole industries that rise up to exploit that, yeah. and they're called casinos. Yeah. So you're saying you and the other guys were bringing down the house. Yeah. I'm you saying, no, we, it's not like we were, no, no, it's not like we were betting because we, we knew how to beat yet. the odds. We know that the odds are against us, so, so therefore go. we don't bet. Oh, you were oh, not, not that. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm just making that clear. Oh, okay, yeah. I, okay. I, 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 they didn't I thought you were counting cards. Yeah, um, that's so, what I, I, I thought. <laughs> so, so I don't know if this was, I was like, listen, can I give you some of my money? And then you <laughs> no, give me a cut? Go. So I don't remember if this is in my forbidden Twitter file, but what I want to say is I think the state lotteries are a tax on people who never did well in mathematics. Mm. State lottery. Now, Neil, yes. uh, we'll talk during the commercial break, but you said the future holds self-driving electric vehicles will oh. fully replace cars, mental illness will be cured, um, cancer, cancer will be cured, yes. and we will learn how to regrow limbs and failing organs. I'm telling you, by 2050. check out the book. <laughs> that Neil deGrasse Tyson, I'm, it's my... thank you so much. Yeah, you want to put a bet on it? <laughs> what are the chances? Now, <laughs> we'll get the book. It is great. We need this right now. Have you here.